Hello, welcome everyone to Okiyama Short Course for round 7 of the Bosra Mazda MX-5 Cup for this week's race roundup. As we head towards the closing stages of this event, it's Atherton who takes pole. Top 5 today separated by an incredible 0.165 of a second. Scoen is the best of the rest in 6 and our newcomers seem to be right on the pace. Freebree and McCain qualify ahead of some of our regular members. 24 laps today, let's go trackside and catch the drivers into Turn 1. So 16 drivers on the grid today, everybody away off the line towards Turn 1, Okiyama International short course today. Underhill lagging a bit as you can see on screen, Butterall, McCain and I uh, think that is Bamba 3 wide into Turn 1, Atherton leads from Hackerson. Mint off trying to make a move up the inside of Bamba through 2. Contact between Scoen and Van Delden into Piper, Scoen going to 5th. Also contact there, Butterall, Freebury, Butterall left with steering damage after that. On board looking back at Scoen, on board with Mintoft, taking third here from Neil Bamber. So we're going to turn for Redman. Lap two, the two Simons, Underhill and Jackson into turn one. Underhill comes off worse after trying to move on the inside. Comes back onto track into 14th place. Lap 3, McCain into turn 1. Thorne and Underhill just behind him here as you can see. McCain trying to take it quite steady. Thorne later on the brakes. Up to 2 now as we divert to the short course again. McCain nice and steady through there as well. So lap 4 in Thorne, Simon Underhill. A carbon copy of the previous lap with McCain. Underhill making up places after his excursion off track. Thorne being nice and easy letting him past. Well, turn 1 seems to be the bogey corner this week. Hackerson and Mintoft here exchanging places for 2nd and 3rd respectively. Now with Bamba and Scoen towards Mike Knight corner. Bamba gives Scoen enough to make a move on the inside. All this is going on, Underhill moves up to 10th. We go on board now with Van Delden behind Neil Bamba and Lee Scoen through to Redmond corner. Matt trying to get the power down too early. Off onto the grass, avoiding any contact with the wall. Beresford, Jackson and Freebury all moving up the order. Lap 8, Jonathan Beresford through Piper, loses that back end into the wall to the pits. Lap 9, Ellis Freebury through turn 7, last corner. Simon Underhill picking up another place. Amazing drive from Simon today, as you'll see as we go through, round up. Lap 10, Van Delden pressuring Jackson as we come through the back end of the circuit. First through Redmond, up to Hobbs. Van Delden really piling it on. Gets his nose up the inside of Jackson through Mike Knight takes advantage, makes the place his own. On lap 11 now, Thorne, Buttrell and Green, just as we saw last week at Charlotte. There's a four, four or five car battle there going on. This week it's these three as we come onto the short course. Chris Breaking hard there, just trying to avoid Ricky and Ian almost into the back of Chris. Through Piper, up towards Redmond now. Ricky slightly wide through there. Chris trying to come around the outside. Fantastic through Hobbs side by side. Ian trying to get a sniff, sniff in the door there. 
Butterell staying wide. Thorne coming to the inside through number seven last corner. And into the back of Ricky Green. Green into the wall. Butterell carries on. Thorne drops back a place. And it's race over for Green. The halfway point now. Lap 12. Van Delden, Jackson and Underhill. Underhill taking Jackson through Redmond. If you remember, Jackson and Underhill had a coming together early on in the race. Underhill making up lots of ground today. On board now with Neil Bamba, lap 13. And there's Lee going round the outside into the side of Bamba. Bamba recovering well but dropping a place. Lap 18, Ellis Freebreeze first race didn't end too well. Heavy impact into the wall. Bamba and Scoen, lap 22. That's it most of the day, these two. Now, is Neil after some payback? If you remember, Lee went round the outside earlier. This time, Neil up the inside. Forcing Scoen almost off track and dominating the place. With so much going on, we forgot our race leader. Led from his pole position, Atherton takes his second win in four races. Interestingly though, two drivers made it under 103 today. Van Delden picks up a fastest lap, 102.968, and Richard Mintoff, the only other driver to achieve a 102, 102.973. To your driver's standings after round 7 then. Lee Scoen 144, Richard Mintoff 143. Now, will this come down to a fastest lap or a pole position? Underhill makes up your top 3. Atherton, 4 races 81 points, fantastic from him. McCain and Freebury join the rankings. We're at Summit Point Raceway next week for round 8. We hope you enjoyed the show. Thank you ever so much for watching. We'll see you again soon. Bye bye.